everyone, my name is Ryan Fernando, you know I'm a sports nutritionist and today I'm going to talk about shooting. Now, how is nutrition and shooting related to each other? Well, in shooting you need your brain, you definitely need your muscles because the other day I went to a shooting range and held a rifle for about half an hour and it's in that one position that you hold, you know, you lock your hips in a certain angle and you wear that suit and my dear lord, it's really hot in that suit. But let's start off with the shooter's dilemmas from a nutrition point of view. Now, I don't know if you know this, there are certain foods that you can eat, all right, and it will raise your heart rate. And there are certain foods that you eat which will calm your heart rate. Now, I know that sesame seeds actually lower blood pressure and calm your heart. So when my shooters go, I am re I'm representing them with a till laddu. Now, I, sound, I know this sounds crazy, but recently when I gave one of my shooters till laddu, he said, Ryan, sir, it's very sticky. And you know what happens is your equipment is there and also I had to think as a sports nutritionist what are the snacks or foods that I can give a shooter that one will help them obviously fuel the glucose because glucose is required for the brain but if you give too much of glucose then the brain goes too hyperactive if you give too little glucose which is the case with most shooters they don't eat for three four five six seven eight hours of practice then they are actually like physically present mentally absent so number one is the right levels of carbohydrate pre-shooting practice, during shooting practice, post-shooting practice. What you may not know is that the brain is phenomenally made up of water. So when dehydration sets in, your eyes are fully made up of also water, your eyes dehydrate. So the blink rate uh, gets much more frequent. So the chance of aiming properly and pressing the trigger at the right time, microscopic fraction changes are there when your blink rate when your brain which is dehydrated is not processing now i know most shooting ranges are air conditioned but you know when you wear the sh suits in shooting uh, they're quite hot so you tend to sweat a lot and one secret is that the, the shooters that come to me say that you know what ryan we don't want to do too much of hydration because when you do too much of hydration you have to take out the suit to go to pee so you know you have to carefully balance the glucose and the water which is really really important okay and, and i want to then figure out what are the other things that a shooter really requires okay when you want calmness you want your heart rate to be low now you can have a lowered heart rate when you eat the right types of food in fact if your hydration you get dehydrated your heart rate goes up because the blood is now thicker so you need more force to pump that blood so when your heart rate is higher your adrenaline is higher therefore your muscles are much more on trigger point you know they're more twitchy they are more like vibration and they are not relaxed and calm. So there are few things that you can do in shooting right from pumpkin seeds to walnuts. Walnuts have omega-3 DHA which works on the brain. Now I'm giving, I'm throwing a few free tips out over here but a structured Olympic sports nutrition plan is so important for you to focus on if you want to get to the next level. And don't start when you're already shooting in the nationals. Start when you're first picking up your rifle. Because if you learn to eat correctly, then you learn how to shoot correctly from a brain perspective, a reaction time perspective, and then from a heart rate perspective. In fact, one of my uh, shooters, Anjum, we have seen certain foods uh, make her feel really good. I can remember I gave her a sports drink and she said, no, Ryan, I don't feel so good with the glucose and the salt in it. And then when we changed it to a vitamin C, she felt good. Now, I thought I discovered something good, so I gave vitamin C to another shooter. It didn't work for another shooter. So bio-individuality of your nutrition plan in the shooting space is so, so, so important. You know, we do blood tests for our shooters. Now, if you have a low B12 level or if you have a low calcium or low magnesium, I don't know if you know this, but calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium are so important to put the muscle on, put the muscle off. It's called contraction, relaxation. Now, when there's a shortage of electrolytes, the muscle remains in a taut mode, tighter mode. So you can never freely relax and shoot. So a lot of kids don't know this, but when we do a blood test, we find out these nutritional deficiencies and you know, they're so important to helping an athlete. For example, if you start putting on weight, three, four, five, six kgs, the body has this extra fat, heart rate goes up. You're never in a calm, relaxed mode when you have your fat percentage up because your inflammation is up. And when your inflammation is up, your heart rate is up. And do you see the picture? Heart rate goes up, you're not a relaxed uh, shooter at the end of the day. In fact, 
shooters it's so important to time the meals you know uh, you have to have a discipline of getting up every day in the morning eating at the same times so that you do let's say one day you eat breakfast at 9 o'clock one day you eat at 10 o'clock one day at 12 o'clock your sugar levels are at different amplitudes so if you kind of plan your meals correctly what carbohydrate you put in that meal for that time of the day and what quantity you will have a level based sugar carbohydrate in your blood stream which means your thinking your heart rate is not going up and down in fact this is so important when once i worked with uh, sadhu uh, from the himalayas uh, he gave me the notion that they eat only one meal a day to stabilize their meditation and it's true food tends to aggravate because when you eat a food all the circulation from here goes to your stomach so your timing of your meal the quantity of what you put in is so important as a shooter you literally are a monk when you're a shooter but you have to eat from a sports nutrition perspective not a monk's perspective and these are things that we find out in fact i take an oximeter and check the heart rate of my shooters uh, to know whether they are agitated or not and i believe that a foods like beetroot sesame as i already said which can really lower your heart rate but you know one size does not fit all so you know it's very important for you to realize what you need to be doing uh, for example i had a case where once i had a shooter and 3 uh, to 5 hours after eating a meal i wanted to check blood glucose levels so i bought one of those devices checked it and resting heart rate so when i gave them apple when i gave them dry fruit when i gave them kichdi and when i gave them a sandwich in all three i had different heart rates and the one which had the lowest heart rate was the apple now would you eat an apple i don't know whether you like an apple or not but the point is i'm not making an apple a hero because when i changed an apple to a banana i got a different result what you have to do is over a one year period find the perfect foods for you to become the perfect calm shooter once you do that you then have consistency like how you know you bought your gun is a consistency in the weight of the gun is a consistency in the ammunition from where you buy it and how you shoot because you believe so much in equipment but what about the equipment that you need to put into your body which is the food there has to be a, and a good sports nutritionist will help you marry the choices of food and the regimes of your training bring them together and give you a perfection which your heart sings your blood sings and ultimately your brain sings and if all of these three are singing when you pull that trigger it's a nice smooth squeeze and that's when you get a good sign if you want to know more about uh, sports nutrition for an olympic level shooter please contact me on this number over here or email us or google up our nutrition clinic which is www.nutrition.com we have some of the best sports nutritionists in the world and uh, we just need to understand you to plan your perfect nutrition plan